Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics What's Going Down episode. episode of the art of comics i'm your host andres jose salazar very excited to hang out with you guys today and just do a quick little recap of what's going on with me and then i'm gonna ask what's going on with y'alls uh so this week what i've been up to is uh i'm redesigning the art of comics logo so uh that sounds silly but i just kind of want to make it a little better so I'm redesigning that. I'm gonna have that finished up this week and I wanna animate it. So if you got some suggestions, comment on below on what I'm gonna use. I might just try to use Photoshop. I think there's like a simple animation thing. I don't have After Effects. So uh, I just want this kind of a simple like animate, you know, line art type of a deal. So I'm doing that. Uh, I also watched Deadwood. So I'm a huge fan of Deadwood. If you've read my book, Prime Missouri, you would know that, uh, which can be bought. Copy still available. Um, so I love Deadwood. Rewatching it, rewatched again for the umpteenth time, and then capstone that with the movie, the new Deadwood movie. And uh, give you a quick hot take on that, because that's what this is all about, what's going down. Um,. Not a huge fan. I think it was kind of like, because I love this show so much, I don't think there would be a way for them to make it the way I would want it to be. So I don't know if there was a way to really, you know, be as good as what I would imagine and what I would hope. Um, some of the actors were great. Some of them look really freaking old. <laughs> but that's life, right? I mean, this was a long time ago. It was like 10 years or maybe more. Um... Love the show. I thought the finale or the movie was good. I wasn't in love with it. Maybe I wanted it long. I don't know what I wanted. I just, it wasn't connecting super great with me. And part of that again is because, you know, George Hurst is a real character, a real person, and they're kind of keeping some, you know, historical elements of the show. Um, you know, you can't just have him get killed off or something. So you kind of know in the end some some elements of, of how, it's, how it has to end or how it cannot end. Um, I don't know. I just, it wasn't as good as I really, I wanted it to be amazing. And uh, it was actually, it was super fun to just watch season three again. I think season three, I mean, the whole show is brilliant. I just really loved rewatching that. And then the finale, the, the movie was just, is okay. But what can you do? Um, I finished class of uh, Clash of Kings. I'm now on uh, S uh, Storm of Swords, which is the third book by J.R.R. Martin, uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. So I'm uh, rereading re those, and that's really fun. I love those books. Um, and I'm also reading this, Jimmy Corrigan, The Smartest Boy on Earth, The Smartest Kid on Earth, and... Uh, this is a massive, amazing book. I'm, why Why am I rereading, you may ask? Because we're going to go over this bad boy in an episode in two weeks. So, <clears throat> we are recording tonight the episode of Wally Wood and the 22 panels that always work. So, we're doing that tonight. After that, we're going to do Jimmy Corrigan. And so we're going to talk about Chris Ware's amazing book. Huge fan of Chris Ware. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet him at Comic-Con this year. I've never met him. And he is, he's up there. He's top five, guys. Spiegelman, Moore, Chris Ware. You know, who else? Maybe, maybe Miller, but not, I, I, and I, maybe, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I'm looking at my stuff. Um, I like Craig Thompson a lot too, but yeah. Chris Ware, dude. It is so dense, so amazing. I can't wait to talk to you guys about this book. So I'm rereading it. I'm almost done. It's, it's a beast. Um, but I've been enjoying that on the bus. So I'm doing that. 
Um, and then I got a couple of videos here in a minute to share about some of my little activities I did this week. Uh, make a little trip out here to uh, Agora Hills, California, a little bit north of Los Angeles. We're going to stop at one of my favorite art supply shops, Graphades Art Supplies, and get some more art stuff. Because if you want to do comics, you got to have cool art stuff. So we're going to go get some goodies now. I just got out of the art shop and uh, I got a couple goodies. So I'll share what you guys thought I got here. Uh, you know, this is a dangerous place for me because I can spend a lot of money there. Um, so I got to kind of be careful. Um, but I love, I love this kind of stuff. So got myself a new brush. Uh, this is for oils. Um, I had a kit of a little like pack of brushes and the one that's about the size is just destroyed. So needed this guy. These are a little expensive. They're kind of big and um, they're just more meaty. Uh, I got a little spongy guy. I, I need a couple of these little guys just to kind of like slap down some paint that I don't really care much about. And so they're like, you know, 60 cents. So it's worth it. Um, got a little holder for a crow quill uh, set. I cannot find my holder to save my life. And I don't know where it is, but it should be somewhere. So I got this little guy again, just a few cents, a buck, actually, buck 80. Mm, okay. Um, I got a new uh, lead holder. This is uh, just a cheapy, probably a couple buck guy. Um, I have some non repo blue uh, 0.5 millimeter that I like to use, and I cannot find it. Again, it's like I lose stuff. I don't mind if I have to buy it again. And then I got, this is kind of fun, I got, um, this is flat lead, if you can see here, this is a flat lead yellow, and so I thought I would do this to kind of play with doing rough pencils in this, that's probably non-repo, and then I can um, kind of play with that. So we'll kind of give this a little shot, I have some green that I like, you know what I mean? and then I got these, I might have splurged a little bit, these are some inks that I just got carmine red and uh, yellow. I'm out of yellow in my my Peach Martin um, uh, watercolor, aqueous watercolors. And so I'm gonna use this for airbrushing. And also it says I can use it for fountain pens. So I'm really curious about that because I would like to try that and see how that works. So, and then I got red because um, I think that'd be kind of fun to play with. So anyway, the... Um, the watercolor, aqueous watercolors I have for red, it has this kind of weird um, texture to it, and so it clogs up my airbrush. And so I thought this might be fun to kind of use as an airbrush. Of course, I have airbrush paints, but every now and then I want to use something a little different, and I think these inks might be really cool. So, and also, I'm thinking, fit in my fountain pens, I'd be neat too. So, they're a little pricey. These are like eight bucks each, so. Uh, but uh, there you go. So, just a couple little goodies. Now we're heading off to Burbank for the caps which is the um, professional artist of uh, comics society. So um, we're gonna go there next tonight. This is uh, what's going down, you know what I mean? Like this is what I'm doing, paintings. Oh, so I, I secured an awesome band. I went to an art store, you can see a video of that, and I found this, I just found these guys who were there, they worked there at the art shop here in Agora Hills, and uh, the, the band is called um, Grit Harbor, and I loved it. I just loved the CD they gave me. He just gave me a CD. He's like, check it out. So I got them for the event. So July 12th here in Ventura, California, we're going to have Grit Harbor there. They're going to be performing live. Super stoked about that. The paintings. All the paintings are done except for like three, maybe? I might not even have all three because I have so much stuff. Um, one... I'm looking at you right now, buddy. I gotta finish you. And then this one here, I might just not even do it, I don't know. And then I got two others that are like standbys. So I need to do the standbys just to have the backup, but this one big beast, I've gotta do him, and that's happening this week. So I'm probably gonna do a little bit of that tonight. It's paint. And then I gotta get back to Shangri-La States. Uh, that's my big book, uh, and that's a big comic book. And I have got the whole story now rewritten. I'm doing now breaking down the panels. So I did the whole like script format. Now I'm breaking it down, page composition stuff. 
uh, and I'm actually doing some stuff on board as well. So I'm doing some digital board. I'm doing a little bit of little bit of hodgepodge, trying to find what I want to do. Um, I really like working with paper, so I'm really enjoying that. And I'm going to show some videos. I'll do some more live drawings of that to kind of just watch me as I do that. Anyway, that's what's going on with me. What's going down with Charles? This is the Art of Comics. Stay tuned. Next episode later this week. Wally Woods, 22 panels that always work. Boom. Great, guys.